Hello everyone, in 10 session of Accounting Formation System Development course, we're talking about create a structure chart. The structure chart shows all the components of code that must be included in a program at a high level. Arranged in hierarchical format, they imply sequence, selection, and iteration. The components are usually read from top to bottom, left to right, and they are numbers by hierarchical numbering scheme in which lower levels have an additional level of numbering. There are two functions of structure chart. First, for defining and illustrating the system in hierarchical order in module and sub-module form. Second, showing the complete relationship of data elements and control elements and also between each module. This is notation that can be used to build a structure chart. First, module. Module denotes a logical piece of the program. Every module has a number and name. Second, connection. Connection connect one module to another module. Third, loop. Loop communicates that a module is repeat or iteration. Fourth, decision. Communicates that subordinate modules are invoked by the control module based on some condition. Fifth, data couple. Communicates that data are being passed from one module to another module. Example, type of data or attribute that are being passed. Last, control couple. Communicates that a message or a system flag is being passed from one module to another module. Example, payment authorization or booking ID. The following is an example case of support session. There are three steps to building a structure chart. First, identify modules and level. Identify the modules that belong on the diagram by converting the data flow diagram processes into structure charts modules. Modules should perform only one function. If a process contains more than one function, it should be split into more than one modules. In step 1, we need to look at context diagram and level 0 data flow diagram of sportation. The following is context diagram of sportation, and this is the FD level 0 of sportation. There are 6 process in data flow diagram level 0 that become control module in structure chart. Before you draw structure chart, you have to know the difference about modules and control module. Modules is activities at top of the structure chart, and other modules below it called control module. The context diagram represents activities and place at the top of the structure chart to represent overall control module to the system that manage the highest level of system function. Then, the level 0 data flow diagram processes are placed below as subordinates modules. The subordinates represent different functions that can be called by the control module. There are 6 processes in level 0 data flow diagram that become control module in structure chart. There are fill in member form, fill in booking form, create payment confirmation, fill in additional time form, fill in cancellation form, and create financial report. Next, these patterns continue through all the data flow diagram levels in accordance with the diagram that you have created before. In this case, the level 1 data flow diagram that we create for fill-in booking form is placed below fill-in booking form module. This is called subordinate module because it's controlled by a module at a higher level. The subordinate module consisting of search port item, fill-in booking form, and submit booking form. Second step is identify special connections. In these steps, you add loops and conditional lines to represent modules that are repeat, but this is optional. For example, a member of sport session can be repeat to fill in booking form for several times, so this control module will be iterated. Third step is add couples. Next, we must identify the information that has to pass among the modules. 
The information can be data attributes or special control parameters that denote by data couple and control couple. Now, we look at data flow in data flow diagram level 1 for fill in booking form. Data flows in data flow diagram provide us with some guidance about the couples to add because the information input and output flows of the data flow diagram processes likely will also input and output flow of structure chart module. We will illustrate the addition of couples to our structure chart by focusing just on the fill-in booking form and its subordinate modules. Input data flow in data flow diagram will become data couple in structure chart and output data flow in data flow diagram will become control couple in structure chart. Should be note that you have to create structure chart based on a whole with this process.